Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with Dom. Today we're going to be going through the ICAW ACA Certificate Level Exam, Assurance. Assurance is a very important exam which underlies almost everything you'll cover in the later exams, including the Audit and Assurance paper, also in the FAR paper, and it will be in your Corporate Reporting paper and your Case Study paper, and it will touch on SBM as well. So it will be very important for the final stage of your exams, and it's important now. Historically, assurance has been seen as one of the easier of the certificate levels, and it probably is the pass rate seem to indicate that it's one of the easier exams. However, it's so important that it's very, very useful for you if you can, at this stage, start to really soak up some of the information in this book. And therefore, there's not as much content. And bear in mind that quite a lot of this is question practice, and there's an entire another book dedicated to the question bank. So, very similar to accounting, this is an important subject that you need to get deep into your mind until you never forget it and the three key things to do are one learn the content unlike accounting is less about skills and is more about learning the terminology and learning learning what assurance is what the industry is like and how to go about performing assurance there's a lot of law and there's a lot of ethics in there and that's very important to understand there's a lot of memorization in this exam compared to accounting which is mostly skills based because of that i do recommend that you use maybe the Feynman technique which is where you try and teach it to someone else and try to actually show your knowledge and understanding of the subject by talking about the subject Second of all, you're going to need to do time management. Assurance is going to be quite a heavy read. There's got a lot of questions. They're all short form questions, the same as in the other, all the other certificate level exams. Short form, multiple choice questions. You're going to have a question with some text, and then you're going to have four answers beneath, and you'll have to pick one. And you do this 100 times. You have to get 55 correct, and therefore you need to be learning how to read pretty fast and absorb pretty fast and still get the kind of key takeaways. Now, just like in the previous exams that we've looked at, the question bank is filled with questions which come up over and over again in the actual exam. Therefore, the easiest way to win, apart from learning the content yourself and getting a really good grasp on the memorization of some of the key terms and terminology, is also to learn learn your time management and once you've nailed your time management and your memorization the last thing to do is do your question banks question bank question bank question bank and question banks will help you with both these it will help you get faster and it will help you manage your time and it will make you remember some of the answers much much quicker in fact i would recommend that you jump into the question bank as soon as you've skim read the first book or been on the course where you've been taught assurance which might be a week or maybe even a few days jump right in again there is a wealth of content on youtube for this assurance is just a guide it teaches you about assurance at the level that you need to know about it but there's no reason why you couldn't go on youtube and do some background information watch ed spira or watch some of the Amy loves to audit or the other videos on auditing that there are out there on YouTube and you'll get an amazing amount of background and really that will give you a competitive edge over some of the other people you're sitting with and you'll be really likely to get a comfortable pass on the day. Okay, I hope that's been helpful for everyone. I will be covering all 15 of these exams. So thank you for watching and please stay, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.